every night I come here and I water for the toad. I water the dirt. And there he is, he's leaping along. He likes it here. We, we stared eye to eye for a while tonight. And he's going back under there. He was just over here. And this is all he's got so far, but I think he really likes it. He's here every single day. I come to water and he's, he's in here. He just went under there. He just went under there. The little guy that I do all this for, because I figure no one deserves to be dumped by their parents at birth. I just came to swap out what I thought was an inferior log for a better one. And it turns out Child Star Toad was under the thing I thought was inferior. So now I don't know. All right. I'm keeping them both. They stay pretty well, actually. It's stable. He's got, I did the new cinnamon ferns. I'm about to go get the water to moisten his soil and clean out his pool, which got pretty dirty, and get him ready for tonight. Oh, and also I'll have to cover the cinnamon ferns so the deer don't eat it. Anyway, we know where he is. He's under that cave, and he was under the poultry stick which now is two paltry sticks. I was just moistening his land and he popped out from under his child star cave, <laughs> his wooden cave there. I think he's coming out to take a look at what's going on. I hope he likes the cinnamon ferns. I read they like ferns. These should last up through the winter. And then he's still got everything he had undisturbed. Other than I added another piece of wood there, but I think that's a good disturbance made this hide a little better for him over here. I like the way that's tucked in there. I hope he does. I feel like he would. Because if he's coming through this way, he, he gets to go under there before he comes out the other side. I think it's cool. So now I just need to cover this up. I hope I don't freak him out too bad. Hang tight with me, dude. This is gonna be awesome. I just went and got some landscaping rocks to put around and he's already in the fern. How awesome is that? I was so excited. The ferns were $20 each, and believe it or not, there's two of them right there. What do you think, little child star? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, this is awesome. He's in his cave. He's going in his cave. There he is. So, I'm going to, well, he's in there, and I cleaned his water bowl out, so he's all set for tonight. But I'm gonna get this set up so the deer don't eat $40 in one night. Isn't this rock cool when it's wet? It's like blue. It's kind of a purpley rock over there. Now I have to do all the deer covering. Yuck, boring. Oh, and I put some fresh green leaves out there for him. He's right there, I'm telling him we are so close. The flash is on, let me turn that off. Okay, now I've got the flash off, I don't wanna bug him. He's right there. And I'm right here. Look at this is doing so good. The fern is encapsulated over here. He can still stand on there. Yeah, I'm veiny. I'm ve I've always been veiny. I was, it might be a piano thing, but anyway. He can still get up and go in there. Or he can come under here and get in on the underside and go out into his cave over there. Are you paying attention to all this? This is important. Where'd you go? Maybe I'm talking to no one. You're somewhere. Now I'm just going to cut the little pokies off. I put this rock here, but so I'm afraid the deer are going to try to get in there. So I'm going to put some stakes there and get rid right, of the pokies. The mosquitoes are buzzing in my ear and all around me. So this is going to have to do for tonight and I'll fix the pokies tomorrow. I just dropped my scissors and sent him hopping. He's between the log and the rock right there. I, I tied up so that he doesn't have any pokies tonight. I'm just tying things off, dude. It's almost done. All right, I just told him we got it. He is right there in between those two rocks in front of that log and everything's all set. He can get through, no problem. He can get to the ferns. It's all tied off. He can't get hurt. I think this looks so cool over here. Look at how much cooler. I mean, it's dark out right now, but look at how much cooler this looks than it did. This is so awesome. So he can go there, go in there, and then get under there, be in the ferns. So he's got three areas under mesh now. And it looks, and I added the rocks, added the rocks on the outside. 
this is so awesome. <laughs> it makes me so happy that he's in here every day. Where did he go? There, he's on a rock. Oh, he's right there, he's on that rock. It makes me just, I cannot even describe. This is living, this is life right here.